So this week I've made these two accordion books inspired by a video I'll link below from Jelly Arts. Um, the tutor on that did a different technique of printing but I love this construction of just using square envelopes and gluing them together to make these fun books. It's such an easy way of doing it. And I did this one, I printed um, with old dried flowers and leaves and it's got quite a wintry theme and I kind of kept that up on the back as well. And then I decided to do one with spring flowers and I've gone for pinks and yellows, which isn't a combination I normally use, but I actually think it's come out quite fun. And the printing was really nice to use some spring flowers. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I picked these flowers and leaves yesterday and pressed them under some books overnight. I've got daffodils, anemones, hellebore, muscari, rosemary, primrose, pulmonaria and dead nettle showing that weeds can make good prints too. I decided to use just a limited palette uh, of pink and yellow and the shades I've got are red violet light, uh, lemon yellow and white. And I'm just mixing the colours up on the plate. I'm not worrying too much. I'm just doing it quite instinctively and just seeing what colour mixes I come up with. I'm trying to remember to print on the pocket side of the envelope, although I don't always remember. I press quite firmly, then peel it back, leaving a flap, so that after removing the plant material and replacing the envelope, it will print on the white void and pick up all the detail.
For the reverse sides, I used the same colour palette to make backgrounds for other plant prints. I either just rolled out the paint with my brayer or made some patterns uh, using corrugated cardboard just to add a bit of interest. I then filled in some of the white spaces left with some pencils, crayons and watercolour just to give a more cohesive look. On these backgrounds that I've just made, I'm doing some more prints using the same plant material, but this time just rolling on some dark brown and some black paint and making mono prints with them.
So thank you so much for watching. I think these are really fun and they've got sort of lots of potential for different formats and different types of printing. So you'll probably see some more of these in future. And let me know if you have a go yourself. And these are going to be displayed in my Art Weeks exhibition at the end of May. Um, it's a whole, a whole of Oxfordshire where people open up their studios and my garden's going to be open as well. So I'll put details of that below. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon.